So in this video, we're gonna talk about the actual wiring of the fixtures themselves. So for the most part, it is like installing just any traditional landscape lighting system. However, there are a couple differences. The main one being the intelligence in the lights themselves. It does require a little bit more power um, than the traditional LED yep. light. Some things you do need to keep in mind with the wiring. Yeah, so wiring is still two wire, same as any other landscape light. Polarity doesn't matter. All of that is exactly the same. The only difference is, as like Rob mentioned, is that uh, we do have some overhead power that happens in our lights. So when we say it's a six watt light, what we mean is it's six watts of light output. And generally on the spec sheet, you'll see a max wattage mm -hmm. to where it'll be a little bit more than that. Our six watt lights, it draws seven watts and things like that. And then we have communication going over the power lines as well. So as a general rule of thumb, as long as you keep the wattage under 80 watts on a run, you're generally okay. And that's 80 watts of max output, correct? Of max out yep. of max yeah wattage. So if you're using you know a six watt light, then generally 10, 11, 10, 11 lights on a run is generally where you want to go. There are exceptions. That's just kind of a general rule. Over 250 feet, you definitely want to change Dial that up back. and reduce yeah. that or up the size of the wire. What we're talking about is using 12-2 for your trunk line. That's what most contractors are using. So the other option is like we have on a project in Minnesota, they had a thousand foot driveway. Mm -hmm. They really increased the size of the wire and did multiple runs mm -hmm. to accomplish sure. tiki lights all the way yep. down that driveway. And we're successful at it. So there are ways around distances and things, but you have to take that into account when you're doing it. On a normal house, your number of 80 watts on a run is generally gonna keep you safe. Mm -hmm. All of that is on the instruction card. Mm -hmm. So the 80 watts max is, so if you ever forget, it's on the instruction card. Every one of our lights includes a Haven connector. Use we them. highly recommend using them. I know some people have some other favorites. These are really good. If copper is exposed in our connections, it will cause a problem and it will corrode over time. Different environments cause different amounts of corrosion, but it will corrode over time and cause you a problem. Mm -hmm. These are filled with dielectric grease. These make sure that that never happens. And um, you can't pull sure, them apart. Make sure you use these yep. connectors. They're free in our lights. They're a great asset that we include in our lights. The other thing we want to talk about is we want to make sure that there are no what we call stupid white lights, but there are no regular white lights on our system that will degrade your signal. You will have lights that do not communicate if you have that situation. It doesn't even matter if they're on the same run or not. If white lights are connected to our transformer, standard white lights, it will degrade the signal and you will have problems. So we don't want any standard white lights on our system. If you wanted to use white lights on the system, we have a STEM module that we'll cover in a different training session that you can connect to our transformer and control any white lights you want, but that module has to be used if you're going to include white lights on your system. Yep, and that module even will give you the zone ability too with those classic white yep. lights. So. Yep, so you can control the yep. lights separately. Mm -hmm. It's a great addition, but we've been caught before where people are using existing wiring, things like that. Mm -hmm. They didn't exactly know that there was a white light somewhere off in the distance and ends up on our system. It will cause you problems. If you call into the office with communication problems, that's going to be one of the first questions we ask. So for the most part, it's installed just like a traditional lighting system, as we said. Just a few of these steps that you need to be mindful of. In summary, two wire connection, just like any white lights, polarity doesn't matter. 80 watts on a run and no white lights and you'll be you'll be just fine. Yep. The other one, the other thing you want to keep in mind when you're wiring your system is like most transformers, we recommend that uh, you use 80% of, of the transformer full capacity. So that is just one more thing to keep in mind is that that is a recommendation. Our transformers are oversized. You can go a little above that in certain situations when you have to. But as a general rule of thumb, we like to say 80% is your number. Sure, and we're always available to, to for you to pick up the phone and ask these questions as well. So we can help you through that too. Yeah, so we'll see you in the next video. Yep.